Hey there, friends. I hope all of you are having a great Tuesday. We are kind of like on day five of no, no sun, so we're really looking forward to the sun making a return at some time. You know, right now you can only, you can just be hopeful, right? Just be hopeful that... <laughs> It will be making an appearance soon. I've got two big mama journals to go in the shop today, you guys. We have Penny Farthing and we have Elizabeth here. So let's take a look at these journals. Now these are our big giant big mama journals. Let's just measure this baby and see how big she is. She is about four and three quarters inches. Of course, when we kind of uh, let her belt out, she kind of fans out and you can just tell how much creative goodness is in this journal lots of things to uh to glue to paint to create with let's take a look at this bead spine here i thought that the bead spine really needed to have a regal look and i think it does you know we've got some pearls we've got some filigree here and of course stars the crowns are just super neat lots of fun and in between the crowns are these tiny little red hearts so i thought that that really looked super cool big thanks to miss trudy who sent me some brads which I really 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 need decorative brads they're super hard to I mean you can find them but then you have to buy them in bulk and some of them don't look so great so um, I was very grateful Miss T thank you let's get started here now of course this journal does have four signatures it has eight pockets and the eight pockets are really fun you guys because when you create something with this journal you can go ahead and just stick it back in the journal and your storage i mean it's a storage solution right with all with all these pockets and places to put things in it we start out with a, an atc that says my favorite memories i think um, when i was putting this together i mentioned to you guys that um this was one of my favorite memories is listening to my mom sing in church you know kind of standing beside her and listening to her sing so the sheet music uh along with the words my favorite memory really did resonate with me and i hope it does with you too we've got our three by three mini book now remember that mini book can be used for all kinds of things that mini book can be used for a glue book it can be used for a memory book you know we're thinking about november we're thinking about thanksgiving uh gratitude appreciation um, maybe it will encourage you to take one of the three by six sheets that are in these books, these cardstock three by six sheets, and encourage you to maybe make a few gratitude journals. I think it would be fun to have a gratitude journal like beside my spot on the sofa, um, beside the bed, in the kitchen. So I'm really thinking of just making several gratitude journals you know our little bit three by three journal and placing them around the house we have a little bit of pirate imagery here along with pens along with the word sing you know pirates would sing sea shanties um, so I thought all of those things went really well together. This book, of course, has many clusters in it. Many clusters are identified by the paperclip that is on the edge of the page. And you can find things, uh, you know, in, in all kinds of creative possibilities there to, uh, to flesh out your own ideas. This was a really fun piece to do. This is a trash piece. Uh, I did two videos called trash to stash and i'll put an i card up here so you can check those out these are things that would normally maybe have ended up in the trash in this case it was the cover to a um the cover of a paper pad and i kind of tore it up and redid it and reset it and reinvented it and recycled it and repurposed it speaking of re 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 uh, which differs from rah, rah, rah. It is, <laughs> this is the first day of Mercury retrograde. Uh, typically, isn't it funny you say it and by golly, you know, you land on something cosmic in the book. Um, retrograde to me is a time to just kind of be cautious. I really did like the way this cluster came together, you guys. It says bourbon. There's a really lovely 
tall glass drink right here it is placed on some food photography and it does have a little wine imagery right here so just a cluster for you to have a great time with and there is a smoking goat cheese <laughs> label on the back thanks miss michelle she sends those to us so when we're talking about retrograde uh, retrograde is october the 13th through november the 3rd now, isn't that funny? You know, ha ha ha, the universe is playing a trick on us because it ends November the 3rd. So hopefully everybody's minds will be clear uh, for the task at hand in November. Typically, I think of retrograde as a time to renew, you know. Um, I, I try to not be terrified of it. And some people are really terrified of it. This is one of our clusters. It's called uh, Flutter. Oh, that's not right. This one is... This one is... Arrows and Wings. Duh! Arrows and Wings. These are cre uh, curated pockets uh, for you to create with. So, you know, it's a time to reinvent, re-energize, uh, really cool. Queen Elizabeth, you know, we've got a Queen Elizabeth book right here. Beautiful stamps. This is Rotten Row in London and a, uh, a footprint here because I think to me this kind of denoted travel and places I would like to travel as did this little mariachi girl right here. I thought that was fun. We have vintage maps for you. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a whale tail. So, renew, revive, re energize, restart, redo, reinvent, uh, retrograde, retrograde. Don't let it scare you. We also have a new moon this week, which is October the 16th. Now, a new moon is. Um, a really a, a super creative kind of energy happening in the universe. So I hope that you'll kind of take advantage of that. Go outside. You know, you won't see a moon because it's a new moon. And that means there's an absence of moon. A little bit of Peter Newell here. I <laughs> love this. Very sweet. And I thought it really paired well with the mushroom paper stock, paper pad that we had here. This is an envelope from 1952. This is Eastport, Maine on it. I had wallpaper samples. So I put wallpaper samples in here because I just thought they were so neat. I love the texture of them. This is a, a little creative cluster kit called Ladies Home Journal. It's got all kinds of things for you to play with right in the pocket there. You'll see new papers. Uh, you'll see new things because I've spent, as you guys know, I kind of took a break um, making big flow journals and I started doing a few traveler's notebooks, which I do have a couple of those to put in the shop today. But I am recycling, repurposing, re-giving life to a lot of my own art right now that's kind of landing in these books. So I hope that you enjoy, um, I hope you enjoy my recycled efforts. Queen Elizabeth is 94 now. Uh, today is the 80th anniversary in 1940 of her first address, her first radio address. She was 14 years old, and she talked about um, um, the evacuation um, of children from the city of London to the countryside. If you guys are interested in the Maisie Dobbs books by Jacqueline Winspear, it's a wonderful opportunity to really get a sense of that era. And Queen Elizabeth, when she was 14, talked about people being separated from their families, from those they, they love, from those who take took care of them and it's a very sweet thing to think that in I think it was April uh, Queen Elizabeth at 94 was she was giving the same sort of address as it pertained to the COVID outbreak 
and um, you know, in England, they kind of shut things down um, and, and were very, you know, very wise about what they did. Uh, you know, I think we're all handling that in a different way. But I thought it was cool that 80 years ago today, she um, made a speech when she was 14 that talked about being separated from families and, and um, what a scary thing it was, but how... Uh, London had decided to evacuate their children to keep them safe. And there we go, my friends. That is Elizabeth. I hope you enjoyed that. Come on, baby. Squash down there. There we go. And, of course, we've got a lot of hairy paper clips on top. And that is, you know, it's yarn, fabric, fibers, all kinds of fun things to, uh, to create with as well. You know, we all need something to tie things together, don't we? <laughs> we need a tethering, a tethering spirit there. This is called Life is a Beautiful Rod. And this is, uh, it's penny farthing. This is a penny farthing bicycle. A penny farthing bicycle was also called a high wheel. And you guys aren't going to believe this, but I did have one in my little collection of charms. So I put a high wheel on the spine there. They were called a penny farthing bicycle because the wheel in front was bigger than the one in the back. And a penny is bigger than a farthing. I thought that that was a cool look at history, wasn't it? I mean, I just think that that is really neat. They came to um, to prominence like in the 1870s uh, and 1880s. By the late 1880s, they were kind of falling out of favor because uh, the, the whole... Um, you know, kind of bicycle, inventing the two-wheel bicycle with a lower seat was kind of taking hold. This is really cool. This is a look at these men during the Depression uh, looking for work. I thought that that was very interesting, and I paired it with a 1950s black and white uh, book about horses. Of course, you'll have vintage ephemera. You'll have images to... Uh, to cut and glue and paste and collage whatever you want to do with this is uh, and when I say vintage it's real vintage it's not something that is a printable or something that I printed off or anything like that it is the real deal my friends this is 1927 and this is the little boy from 1927 from an old scrapbook we were talking about penny farthing bicycles, and they kind of epitomized the Victorian era. You even wore very specialized clothing when you were uh, riding your penny farthing. So, you know, you can kind of see that guys dressed up and women dressed up riding their bicycles in the promenades of London. What a fun time that was. And then in like the late 1880s, they kind of stopped being so prominent. I thought it was interesting because uh, when I was researching that, I did find, look at that kitty cat, isn't that sweet? I love black cats. <laughs> I just think they're beautiful. Um, when I was doing that research, I was very interested to know the whole history of something. And that's kind of the way I am. I like the whole history of it. We've got napkins, fabric, images, stickers, napkins. Did I already say that? I had a really great time altering some vintage playing cards, you guys. And, of course, you know, you'll have your little chippies up here. This is super cool. This is a uh, Registry of Deeds document from 1958. And that'd be a great little story starter right there. This is a cluster, just a curated collection of things that have, in, in this case, it's butterflies. And I think that really does match with this beautiful botanical 
imagery right here. Some black and white imagery to play with. Vintage maps, vintage text pages, beautiful new papers. Thanks, Miss T. This is a book about astro navigation. You know, now everything is computerized. I don't know if uh, you guys have, if you're into dystopia, there's a great book called One Second After about an EMP strike on the United States and how it just so profoundly affects life. Um, you know, because I mean, you have to think that everything is controlled. Uh, you know, our, our cars have computers and Everything is computerized. But when the power goes down, then that's a, uh, sorry, I kind of took that apart there and didn't mean to. Uh, that's when real survivalism um, is going to be necessary. I mean, we're going to have to know about all that. Machu Picchu, fortunate and blessed. really like this these are old calendars you know i just i think old calendars very much speak volumes i have um my calendar where our calendar stays on on the refrigerator downstairs you know and you can look at the calendar and you can see life you can see the way life happens you know when did we give me a well, when did I give me a bath when when did we have her to the vet when did she take her heartworm medicine what shows are Chris is Chris playing whose birthdays are coming up what special events do we have going on love calendars especially you know if you're lucky enough to find one that someone's discarded but written notes on on I love things like that. You know, just a little glance at history because that's really what it what it is. And we have our Ladies Home Journal with a black feather. This bag is full of things to uh, create with, to glue, collage, have fun with. All right, my friends. Penny Farthing and Elizabeth are going in the shop a little later on this afternoon. Guys, thank you so much for supporting the Etsy store. I was really so happy that you guys did like the Traveler's Notebook style journals, which were kind of a taster of uh, a bigger Big Mama journal. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.